Hey everybody, back with a new episode of Merlin. Last episode was really good. Arthur on his quest and honestly, Merlin on his and it was really for him. He has that water from Avalon or the Lake Avalon, I think. And I think he is as sure as he's ever been of being where he needs to be. And you know, Arthur completed his task, so I think he's good his, in the eyes of his father. And they thwarted, <laughs> they thwarted Morgana once again, which is nice. And and Gwen knows not to trust her anymore, which is smart. I'm glad she knows because Morgana isn't holding off on anyone, anyone that stands in her way. She'll go after, unfortunately. So I'm excited to see where they go from here. Arthur going through that ritual makes it seem like we're getting closer to him taking his rightful place. So I'm excited to see that go down. And you know, I was so happy to see Gwen. I'm so glad he was a part of that quest and that Merlin knew he could count on him, but not just for Arthur, like Gwen did that for Merlin, which I really loved. That was definitely my favorite part. <laughs> so I'm excited to get back into it. This next episode is called Love in the Time of Dragons. Which, you know, that movie Love in the Time of Cholera, it's like having love in a time where it's not really conducive for that. And, you know, dragons, we just had a dragon cousin last episode. Are we going to see the dragon again is Merlin gonna you know make him do his bidding who's gonna be in love I feel like you know Arthur and Gwen kissed last episode like I feel like that's an inevitability but it's whether or not it's gonna happen before or after Uther dies um so maybe it's them trying to actually have something maybe secretively but not sure, so let's get into it. Now what is that? Is that supposed to be a dragon? Someone, some kind of physician is offering treatments. I feel magic by when he is. What is it that makes you suspicious? There are reports of miracle cures. The innkeeper. Did you turn to work? That's not possible. The condition was critical by so many days ago. So you agree that magic must be involved. He didn't say that. Then go to the tavern and find out. He is such a hypocrite. Yes, he is. So if you bury your head, use it. What was the nature of this treatment? Hogwarts and Fenue Creek. Excuse me. Herbs, sire. It didn't use magic. There's no That's way that was earth. I saw it with my own eyes. We both did. What, what you saw, Manon, was a release of gaseous pressure. Why is he like acting like this with Merlin? But what about the totem? Guys, you're not being truthful. Alice. You know her. You're the love in the time of dragons? She could. Oh. Oh, Gaius. Your healing magic was always equal to none. Oh, Gaius. Hmm. We've lost none of your charm. But why here? The dangers are too great. Because I wanted to see you again. Oh my goodness. Oh. What's up with this creature you though? Well, the position is vital to our plan. Oh no. Please. Must we use him this way? I've told oh, you before. We must trust him. He alone can get us close enough to the king. But his punishment will be terrible. <gasps> he must put aside your feelings and do what needs to be done. Is he controlling you? Oh my! You've been holding a candle. Do your supplies normally kiss you? <laughs> you followed me. What's her name? Oh. It's Alice. Alice. So what happened? Oh, there. We declared war and magic after all these years. I feel we've been given a second chance. Oh, no. Their music, 
giving succor to the ailing and the sick. You've forgotten nothing. <laughs> and of course, Uther's like, we can't have that. We found each other again. Isn't that all that matters? If only. If only you didn't have a winged creature. Oh my goodness. Oh, the trust. You better not miss. Nice. <laughs> what Merlin? What a shit job. You're pretending to be a battle-hardened warrior, not a daffodil. <laughs> Sorry, sir, I'm just very tired, that's all. What's wrong with the daffodil? Fair enough. Maybe this will perk uh. you up. <laughs> so you won't mind if she uses your room? Be my guest. Y'all don't want to share? You get wrapped up in this, Alice. Do not fail me. No, I saw it. In my own eyes, and I could feel its power. It was magic. Nothing I've ever felt before. What utter nonsense. Uh. Oh, it's in there. I know it is. Ridiculous. Guys, no. Careful. Uh oh. It's out. I fear he finds the physician's craft boring. Well, never mind. You've got me to help you now, haven't you? Did I have? Now, where's a valerian? I prescribe it to Uther for an old battle wound. Uh oh. He takes it daily? Of course. Ah, now that is the manticore. Manticore. A manticore. Nasty looking piece, isn't it? Oh, oh. You don't know her anymore. You're wrong. You're just blinded by your feelings for her. I can see perfectly well, Merlin, and what I can see is that you cannot bear for me to be happy. I can't oh, begin that's not to it. guess where that should be. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Look, I row with my father all the time. Oh. You should do what I do, just lie low and wait till he comes to his senses. It'll soon blow over. No, I don't think so. So no. Cheer up, will you? <laughs> I was punching me in the arm to cheer me up. It works with the knights. <laughs> well, they're thick, aren't they? <laughs> I'm a knight. Oh. There you go, then. Yep. It's how he shows affection. I <laughs> guess you can take it as a compliment. Wonderful. Thank you. Hurry now. They are gonna blame him though. That's so not cool. Can you imagine this is how he goes out? The king's alive, but his pulse is weak. What's wrong with him? Please, I must examine him. Seal off the king's quarters. Oh. So that happened to her? Because that's what her eyes did. I'm afraid I cannot yet determine the cause of your father's illness. He's been poisoned, doesn't he? I cannot say it this Why are you from that? Just look at him, guys. What else could it be? We must not jump to this. It could be anything. Please watch over him till I return. Oh, hurt it. We both know who did it. What exactly are you implying? You know. It was Alice. It had to be. The only other thing he's had is... Ooh. Don't let Arthur start thinking it's Guys, Gaius. Guys, it's remedy. Arthur, think I know what happened. What do you say? I think... I know... Who did this? Don't lie to me, Alice. Mm. Please. Love goggles only go so far. Guys. <laughs> oh! Well. Dang, Merlin really just told it how it was. Oh no! I don't want y'all at odds, though. Do you admit to using magic? Yes. 
admit to poisoning the king? Yes, yes, but it forced me to do it. It, it made me. Who forced you? The creature. Mm -hmm. The creature. The creature. The lie. There's no creature. You're just trying to save your own skin. No, no. The magical. <laughs> it's taking her over. I understand. You were only trying to save me from harm. But I don't believe Alice wanted this. I don't either. And now she didn't. Sentenced to death. Uh, we'll execute her in the morning. Tell him. She practiced magic, guys. There are no circumstances under which that is acceptable. Oh no, and just just stands. you, just you. And it's far better to die free than to live as a slave. I can only hope that's true. Guys, guys, you can't let her go out like this. Before I go, I want you to know something. I never forgot you. I've treasured these past days. Oh. I love you and I always will. You could have come with that. I could have done. But then I would look after you. Oh. Me? <laughs> I don't need looking after, I can fend for myself. Oh, ah. me. Well, in that case, you won't be wanting any of this then. Well, maybe just a slice. <laughs> Okay, well, this was a little bittersweet that, you know, she couldn't stay and be with Gaius, but at least she didn't die. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't have been mad at the Manzacor being able to kill Uther, but, you know, I don't want Gaius to be blamed for it, and Arthur was already going there. So... She left, and it is sweet that he feels that he, he should stay behind for Merlin with uh, with Arthur, you know, mentioning when Merlin was talking about what was going on. He's like, well, when I'm with dealing with my dad, like, I, I love how he just knew, like, how much Gaius means to Merlin and what a big deal that was. It was fun to see them go back and forth between what was happening with Alice and Gaius and then Merlin and Arthur. <laughs> the fight training was just so funny every time it would cut to it. Um, but, you know, Arthur was, you know, helping as much as he could and, like, showing support and affection in the way that he can. So I guess we'll take it. But it was nice to see Gaius have a lady and... You know, it, it feels in his backstory. I can't believe... I mean, obviously I know why... Gaius is so loyal to Merlin. But why is he so loyal to the king? The king made Alice go in the first place. And the reason she can't be here now. And he was just telling you to use old magic for himself. So, like, ah, oh, the hypocrisy is far too much. I can't believe... I can't believe guys didn't like push back on that more, but I don't know. I guess he's just used to Uther and his ways. Sucks though. But you know, that Manticore was pretty gross looking and I'm glad it wasn't Alice just, you know, pretending and wanting to do something bad to Gaius. She was enthralled 
so she didn't really have a choice. And she was just like a sweet lady who used magic to heal people. What's the fucking problem? <sighs> They're reading the paper. People are getting better. People are having happy lives. I must put a stop to this. Ridiculous. The worst. He's the worst. But uh, it was pretty tough seeing Merlin and Gaius being at odds for a second there. I'm glad it got resolved fairly quickly, but I, that is something I do not want at all. I don't want Gaius being upset with Merlin. I don't want vice versa. I, I need them to be the unit, the team that they've always been, the father and son, which I love. So I'm glad that got cleared up pretty quickly. Merlin was just looking out for Gaius. They would have blamed him. But in that moment, Gaius was pretty betrayed. And that, like, oh, I felt that. That was so sad. But I'm glad they're okay. And I'm glad they know what they mean to each other. And that Gaius feels like he needs to stick around for Merlin. And even though he is going to do that, Merlin still, you know, gave him that option. <sighs> I would like to see Alice again or maybe like Gaius getting to eventually retire and maybe go meet up with her or you know if Arthur becomes king and can chill out about magic maybe she could come back I don't know but that would be nice I really liked her she was the sweetest lady oh my goodness and seeing seeing Gaius be so infatuated with her was so cute so cute so it is bittersweet that she had to go, but I'm, I'm glad she didn't die. So that's something. But like always, Uther's the worst. So what are you going to do? <laughs> but yeah, this was, this was sweet. This was, uh, this was, it was nice to see Gaius in this light. I feel like he's gotten a lot of like center focused plot storyline stuff this season, more so than previous, which I love because I love Gaius. So yeah, I really liked it. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon.